Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Heretic Shadow of the Serpent Riders. On this episode we're taking care of the penultimate level, which is the Chasm. And unlike the Doom 2 level with the Chasm, this, this level is not going to have a giant walkway. Not that I'm aware of, but it is going to be annoying. Um, so there's a little similarity between map 24 of Doom 2 and this level right here. But that's okay, we can manage. What I want to do first of all, there are six Ophidians over here. And these Ophidians will attack you. And I want to go ahead and get rid of them. But they can't really walk over to you, so it's easier to just kind of do this. And I think we got all of them except for one, and I'll walk into that. So there we go. Alright, now I'm going to save my arrows as much as I can, but we've got plenty of arrows elsewhere in this level. So I'm going to use switch to them anyway. Uh, maybe I'll use the Dragon Claw. I don't know. Got some flame golems here, so they're not too bad. Just pick them off one at a time. And we're going to have a lot of gargoyles too. I'm going to try to stand in this doorway so it doesn't... There we go. Close off on me. I'm going to need to move. Eventually. I wish this door could kill these guys. But it's not a crushing ceiling. That would be really handy right here, actually. But... You might could walk right into it, so that's just as well. All right, move out of here one more time because we're gonna have golems and undead warriors to contend with, and they are gonna send off some skeletons, skeletons. Okay, which one's gonna die first? I don't know. Like, get out of here. This level is really annoying. There's one section that is absolutely horrible and really unforgiving and I'll, I'll, I'll show you what that is. It's, it's gotten me a few times off screen so we've got this and I want the quartz flask. We've got a few um, disciples of despair out here let's see and some iron liches so I'm gonna move screw it I'm gonna deal with these iron liches later And we're going to have a bunch of gargoyles in here. I'm going to try to save the phoenix rod a little bit. Oh, come on. Okay, great. Now up here, we've got another gargoyle, and we've got a doorway that leads to the yellow key eventually, but I don't want to go there there just yet. What I want to do is just kind of go and get these molotors, or sorry, wear minotaurs. God, I'm glad they're not molotors. That's the annoying part, by the way. These things just waste so much ammo on these guys. There we go. This is one of the secrets, by the way. I'm going to switch to... I don't really use that weapon a whole hell of a lot. But this opens up a teleporter on the left. Just kind of get rid of these saber claws. And... There we go. And this opens up another teleporter, which goes out on the other side. That's pretty, pretty clever. Now we got these guys. Just go to town on them. I'm going to save my Tome of Power for now. There's one spot where I'm going to need it. There we go. I really don't like that weapon very much. I haven't found a really good use for it yet. There we go. I'll switch to the Hellfire Staff for now. I'm going to save my arrows. There's one enemy that it's going to be later on in this game that's going to be very useful against. Get out of the way of these guys. And try to move a little bit here because there are some disciples out there that are going to kill you. Like this guy. Well, not he's not the one that I'm talking about. There's no secret here, but it kind of looks like there is. And this just, um, sorry I didn't hit the switch, did I? There we go. This is just going to open up the doors here. I was mistaken. This was a kind of a little secret area, but you have to open up the switch. Okay, good. Now up here, 
we've got the yellow key. But down here we've got two disciples, a bunch of saber claws, and three iron liches in a cage. So what I'm gonna do is just go to town on them. This is a great weapon for these guys. How am I doing on Phoenix Rod Armor? Or ammo, rather. That's good. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use this weapon a little bit more. Because we've got the Disciples of the Sparrow to contend with. And don't stand around there too long because the Iron Liches will screw you up. They'll shank you. It's the Tornadoes that you can't really do much against. You have to just run like hell against them. And I'd hate the Tornadoes. So anyway, we've got that taken care of. I'm going to go and... I can take care of the Iron Liches now, so let's do that. This is this is really fun to do. Because sometimes they don't give you a whole lot of warning if they spit out a tornado at you. Or that. And that can kill you, so... If you get hit by all five of those things. Or at least not kill you, really hurt. This is a great weapon against them. It's a hit scan. Tornado! Damn it! Stupid tornado. I hate these things. See, there's just a hot, not a whole lot of warning on a tornado. So they got an earth, air. Well, they got an air, fire, and wind attack, but they don't have um, an earth attack. I guess the um, quaking thing wasn't there until Hexen. Okay, we got rid of them. Good. Now, we've got enough dragon orbs left, or dragon claws. Ooh, I forgot about these guys. To deal with these guys. Um, that's not a good weapon for this. I'm just gonna go to town on these guys with this. As long as I have about 50 to 60 arrows, I think I'll be okay for what lies ahead. But I could really screw myself up if I'm not careful, because there's... I'm not really looking forward to a certain section, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not looking forward to it at all. Okay, um... Did I miss one up here? Yes. There are two Ophidians up here on either side of this. And I'm going to go ahead and take care of them as much as I can. I'm going to move a little bit because they, this guy can attack me. If I'm at the right angle, he can't really do much to me. There he goes. See, there we go. Health. And I'm going to switch to the Hellfire Staff. I said the Hellfire Staff. Has said the Hellfire Staff. There we go. And why? Because of this. Get out of here, damn it. You can really screw yourself up because... Each three um, projectiles can be a different angle. And I think I got both of them good. Morph of them. That's useful. I really was, wish it was useful against the next enemy, though. So what we want to do... There's a Molotaur up here. And there's also two Gargoyles. I'm going to get the Gargoyles to follow me first. Look at that. That would have killed me. Because you're not in a whole lot of room. I get out of here. Okay, this Molotaur is a pain in the ass. Okay, what I want to do is use the Tome of Power and this. And for this Molotaur, as soon as you see that, get out of the way and let those sprites die down. Because it will attack you still. He's really going to town on me, isn't he? He has kind of a pattern. Where, if you see that, yeah, that will kill you. That will absolutely kill you. See? I got lucky there. I got very lucky there. I wish he was over here so I could... Ugh, this Tome of Power ran out. <sighs> Son of a bitch. I hate these guys. 
Finally got him. Finally got him. Finally got him. Good. I hit the switch here. Okay, good. I finally got him. That's the worst part of the level, in my opinion. Because if that thing attacks you, you're, you're... I mean, that's just it. So anyway, so we got that opened up, and that opened up. So that's good. And this opens up over here. And we've got a bunch of teleporters here, so let's go access them. The first one gives us the quartz flask, and this accesses another switch. Which gives us just a little gargoyle. Nothing big. No big deal. Now this over here, you can see we can jump down here now. Get the Hellfire Staff ammo. That we're at lesser runes, and that's nice. Now this is the one we went over here first, right? The green key. So, just try to remember that. Now the next one we haven't gone to, on the left hand side, is this one. This gives us the green key. When you look here, there's a bunch of enemies here, but there's a missing te well, kind of a misaligned texture, so that's how you know that's a secret. This gives us some time bombs, which who knows if I'm ever going to use. And, um, let's see, I'm going to go down here, and if you remember we went there, there, now we can go to this first one on the right. And this is yet another switch. And this opens up another gargoyle. So that's good. And let's go down here and get some arrows and health. We don't need all of the health, so that's good. So this lowers this. We're going to get the quartz flask. And there we go. Now we got the green key, so we can keep going. There's some disciples here, so I'm going to get the hell out of the way. I completely did not think about them, and then I got attacked by them. Let me get out of here. I'm just going to draw them this way. Wish I had more claw orbs. Where'd you go? Ah! I'm like, where did you go? I'm over here. Uh, whatever. Let's get some health. I could use the lesser runes against these guys. These are not fun in high numbers. But you can corner them fairly easily. Where are you? Was there only three of them? Were there only three of them? That's grammatically correct. Anyway, um... Hope I don't have a whole lot of editing to do on this level. Um, I can't really go up here just yet because that's the blue key, obviously. But at least I got rid of the iron liches. Um, ooh, I want that. The lesser runes, that means I'm full on ammo here. Okay. Let's go down here and let's take care of the gargoyles. I'm really hoping there's not another Molotar in this level. I can't remember. Okay, that's fine. You I can deal with. You I can deal with. A whole bunch of these guys in here, but not as bad as it was. Excuse me, I had to move my chair. Oh, come on, you stupid. I don't think you hurt me that much. That's better. That's better. Ah, get out of here. Alright. Ah, get ya. Get ya, get ya, get ya, get ya, get ya, get ya. Alright. Excuse me. Um, I had to adjust my chair again. Um, I forgot about this area. I don't want to go there just yet. Because I would rather go around this direction and get a little closer to these guys. The problem with these saber claws in close quarters and little labyrinths like this is that they can go in behind you and attack you and lesser runes. Although I probably didn't need the lesser runes, and this goes back to the beginning. Um, where am I going to go now? I could use that. Dragon Claw. More, more, more. Alright, um, more of them here. 
Okay. I see claw orbs making funny sounds. I can hear more of them. Where the hell are you? There you are. Okay. The lesser the um what it was I gonna say that Hellfire Staff is very good against the Saber Claw because they drop lesser runes, and that's useful. Let's see, where haven't I gone in this map? I haven't gone that way. Let me turn follow back on. F is for follow, by the way. If you type F, then follow will be turned back on. Well, follow will turn back on the map. It will be turned back on into the map, or on the map, or the auto map, whatever you want to call it. Of course, that's useful to know now that I'm like, you know, 26 episodes into it. Oh, this is wind, by the way. Son of a bitch. Let me get out of here. Okay, this is a windy area. I got pushed off. This is another sector type, the wind. Uh, doesn't seem to be affected by the gargoyles, although they've got big giant wings, so it's kind of funky that they would be unaffected by that. I was wondering when we're going to run into the wind. Huh, <laughs> pun intended. Okay, see if you move out here, the wind will kind of get you. That's another reason why this part of the level is annoying as hell. And we got yet another Iron Lich. So, yeah. We're going to make us, it's going to make us work for this next, uh, this Tome of Power down here. I could pro- oh yeah, yeah, go Ophidian, attack him, attack him. There you go. Oh, and there's a Ring of Invincibility in there too. God, I wish I had it right now. Oh well. Okay, we got him. Get the Ophidian. It's this damn thing over here. And we got more uh, an Iron Lich and whatnot over here. So I'm just gonna attack and move. Attack and move. Those projectiles are fast, those Ophidian projectiles. And I'm not going to waste a Phoenix Rod or a Flame... Damn it, I didn't see that. Let me get some more health. Before I run back up here, and hopefully those Iron Liches will start attacking the Ophidians. I don't know. Where am I going? Wrong way. Yeah, this level can be a little annoying. But it's like most of the penultimate levels in Doom, where they were really complicated with a lot of enemies. And it's this damn wind that I really don't want to have to contend with. Damn it! You can't really see that until you get there. I'm gonna waste all my claw orbs on this guy. Here it comes. Or, or, there it goes. Ah, I hate these guys. Alright, I'm getting low on claw orbs now. Let me see if I can make it with the arrows. Damn it. This is too slow. Let's see if the Hellfire Staff is any better. Oh, damn it, I forgot the wind. Ah, uh, Phoenix Rod. That's not gonna work. Um, I got 31 flame. Uh, damn it! See, this is the problem. You gotta aim it just right. And I don't have the crosshair on either. You can't have a crosshair in Z Doom or G Z Doom. G Z Doom. G D Doom. Come on. Damn it! I got splash damage from that. That was really stupid. Okay, well, I got eight quartz flasks anyway. So, what am I going to do? Um, I really want that Tome of Power. And let's see if there's a way I can go up here. There's some health up here, too. Ah! There we go. And there's two Wings of Wrath in here, which is nice. Um, I'd like to see if I can get these Ophidians. This is going to be a long episode. I can just tell. 
But yeah, I was saying the seventh level in a lot of Doom episodes, like the spawning bats, and um, I think it was central processing was one of the levels. That was the seventh level. Um, I'm trying to think which way I want to go first. I've only got one invincibility ring, but I'd like to head over here. It's this damn wind. Now that's another sector type. We can't really do anything there. I want the health though. We've got some health over here. Let me get over here first. The Wings of Wrath are nice. Um, let's go down here. Alright, we're going to need the Wings of Wrath, so we're going to get some health. Heal up. And use the Wings of Wrath. Now we don't have that many monsters left, so unless they're all Molotars, I'm not going to be too worried about that. Let's use the Wings of Wrath. We can go either left or right. And now that we got the Ophidians taken care of, we can go this way and get another Wings of Wrath in case we need it. I want the um, thing over here. And I want the Quartz Flasks. And I want to get rid of these guys. Okay, good. Alright, we're good. And the Wings of Wrath, of course, if you're using them they kind of uh, negate the wind effect, and that's really nice. Okay, here's the uh, other sacred area. Invincibility ring, thank you. Um, so we've got two wings of wrath now. Now we've only got one. I should have probably saved that. Wings of wrath, but nope, I'm not going to grab it, because you can only get one per level. Um, in case I need it. And we got the blue key now. But there could be some other secrets that we need to take care of, so... Um, what I'm going to do is just jump down... I wonder if I can jump down this way. I want the flame orb, but I can't really grab it, can I? I can't really go through there either. That's okay. It's time to get some secrets in in the level, so I'm going to do this. Thankfully, this doesn't really knock down your health too much. So it's time to go back to the beginning. Um, I could use a chaos device to do that. But there are enemies down here I need to take care of. So I'm going to do that. I'd really like to have higher armor before going to the next level. Uh, whoa! Grab the alpha. Come on. Oh, I already got plenty of lesser runes. Uh, Mystic Urn when I'm not even going to need it because all the enemies are gone. But now I got the map scroll. So that's one secret. So now that we've got the map scroll, we can kind of look to see if there's any more secrets down here. We've got one up here. So let's see what's up here. One of the secrets. And we've also got another secret down here. Toma Power. <laughs> I'm grabbing all these items and I don't even need them anymore. Um, let's see. We've got nine secrets out of ten. And there's also a little area up here we can access. And this should be the final secret. There we go. And this is the final secret, so... Um, I've never shown a Chaos Device off before. And we've got two of them, so I'm going to show you what that does. Takes you back to the beginning of the level. So there's a little shortcut. And we're ready to finish this level, actually. Just want to see if there's any more items around here that I want. I'm good on that, I'm good on that. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine. Ah, uh, yeah. I think we're going to be fine. So it's now time to exit the level. Nothing else I want to do. The Molotor sucked. But we managed. I survived. And of course... There we go. Another Quartz Flask. And we're good on armor. We're good on health. I think we're ready to end the level. And the chasm is now finished. And the chasm, of course, re referred to that big windy area. So we got 100% kills, 100% secrets, the items I'm not worried about. So thank you so much for watching. And on the next episode, we're taking care of the Sparrow's Keep. So what will await us at the end of Hell's Maw? Find out in the next episode on Let's Play Heretic, Shadow of the Serpent Riders. Have a good day. Bye.